Stefano. Um, it's Emily and Alan here from Science and Iran. It's really great to see you. It's summer here in New Zealand, but we're not outside today. We're back in our garage at the 275 here in Mangere East in Auckland, New Zealand, Aotearoa. And it's really great to have you here. We're going to be talking about science today. Ooh. Surprise! Um, yeah, lots of fun things coming up, but don't worry. At the end of the show, there's going to be... Joke of the day, Joke of day, 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 day. So, first up, if you are watching this live, fantastic to have you. If you're watching it later at your leisure, thank you so much. Don't forget while you're watching this, just check you have subscribed. I'm sure you have, but I'm check sure they now. Have. I'm sure they have. Hey, exciting news. Um, here in New Zealand, our school year starts in like February. Yeah. Um, so we're taking school bookings at the moment, and lots of schools are booking in, which is very exciting. Mangafai School booked in yesterday. Awesome. Which is great. And we're also this year, we're taking early childhood bookings. So if you like big bubbles and you like science, get in touch with us if you're in uh, Tamaki Makoto, if you're in Auckland. It'd be great to hear from you. Awesome. Excellent. So um, back to our YouTube audience, if you are watching us and you can't get us physically into your schools, uh, don't forget you can still support us through our Ko-Fi page. If you support us through our Ko-Fi page, you will get one of these zines delivered to you as well. Mm. And there are no boundaries. Now, um, first up, our neighbours come, our neighbours' kids come running across to see our dad and we've subscribed, we've subscribed. And that is great news. We love hearing that. Those subscribed on YouTube are really helping us out. The physical bookings for us coming into your school, like Em mentioned, are great. And we've got great news from Josh, Isla and Erin, all the way Yay. in the UK. Hi, they receive, and Claire, <laughs> they receive one of these zines uh, monthly and they love it. So we're getting great feedback. And the reason I think I forgot, Claire, is we get some great photos of a free from reading it and it's Claire taking a photo. <laughs> so, so um, totally, totally... Um, Appreciate you guys subscribing, totally appreciate you guys supporting us on Ko-Fi so we can create this content. We send our love back to you with one of these zines and it's awesome that we're getting amongst it. It's really cool. It's so nice to get something physical in the middle, eh? Yep, totally. Like it's so different. So today, we are going to be talking about spinning tops. Now, um, please put in the comments if you still own a spinning top. Maybe there's memories of a spinning top. Um, but if you're young and down with the kids, you'll know that blade blades are back. Yeah. Um, but I've never been too sure if they're bay blades or blade blades or bay bays. Anyway, let me know in the comments. You know what I'm talking about. They're actually really cool. They spin and they have like battles and stuff. Yeah. Um, but there's a whole lot of um, science going on behind them and we're going to be talking about that today. So, a bit like a spinning top, there's also, and a bit like a blade blade, there's this um, whole old style toy here called a gyroscope. Now, we've got a piece of string wrapped around this. What I'm going to do it, mm -hmm. is I'm going to give it a nice big pull, and I'm going to put it there like so. And it does the same thing, and pick it up if you want. What? And give it a wobble. I forgot about that. Give it a wobble. Oh, oh, okay. Oh. I haven't you done the forces? I do. I feel yeah. the force. I feel the force, Alan. Cool. It's so so cool. this here is called a gyroscope. And a gyroscope, the science behind it is exactly the same as a spinning top. And we're going to get into that in a few moments. I'm going to reset this and uh, we'll start talking some science. Okay. They're very cool. I hadn't actually picked one up for ages. <laughs> We've been talking about this all week, but I hadn't played with it. Um, they're very, very cool. Um, I wonder if you've got one at home. Um, so today, spinning tops, gyroscopes, it's all to do with forces. And we've talked about forces heaps in our shows. And you might remember that um, a really big idea about forces is things don't move unless there's a force applied. Like that's the basics, right? This won't move until I apply a force, all right? Um, if I push it or pull it, it won't move until I apply a force. And another thing that's quite good to remember today for the experiments we're doing is forces always work in straight lines. Forces always work in straight lines. So, um, the gyroscope 
is like I say, it's a bit like a spinning top. It's very similar. Now, if I hold them like this, and I've not applied any force to make them spin and let go, that happens. So, what force is pulling those down to the ground down? Alan, I love this question because I know it. Gravity, gravity, gravity pulls things to the ground. So, gravity pulls things down to the ground. So now we're going to spin this wheel by pulling that string mm -hmm. and that, and we're going to apply a force because we know that something won't move until a force is applied. So to get that spinning, it needs to be moving and we need to apply a force because something won't start moving, moving unless a force makes it. So I'm going to apply a force, we're going to put it here and we're going to observe what the difference is. Here we go. the difference is, well, <laughs> pretty, um, pretty, pretty obvious. obvious. Oh, I don't, oh, you, it's not going you know, fast not enough. enough force for that. Live show, shouldn't have tried it. So, <laughs> it's cool though. <laughs> so by applying the force and getting that wheel to spin, we see a difference compared to what we did first of all. So, it's spinning, that force of it spinning makes the difference. And here's the reason. Basically, the force and the energy of this spinning makes it, it means that the force is acting in directions. And when we spin this, we've got the wheel physically spinning and it wants to move in straight lines out like so. So from the middle outwards in straight lines. And those forces are greater than gravity, so therefore it stays upright. So due to all the forces making this wheel spin, those forces are greater than gravity, so the spinning top of a gyroscope stays up like so. Um, I'm loving this. I have to. I like the look of it. I love it. I love yeah. the way it moves. But we do have something a little bit bigger to show you. Oh, do we? Oh, yes, do we, we do. Yeah, Alan. Yeah, Would I'm you like me to do that? I'm just going to reset this really quickly. Um, let us know in the comments if you can hear us all right. Yep. I'm always worried about the sound level. So let us know in the comments if we you can hear us. It would be really yep. helpful. Oh, our chief sponsor's commented, Alan. Hey, hi there, Naomi. How are you? Um, I had a hummingbird, she says. <gasps> oh, no, a humming top. A, a hummingbird. Humming top. Yep. I just made that up. A humming top is a kid that pushed the handle up and down to make it spin. We yeah. know exactly what you're talking about because we actually wanted to ask around anybody if they had that for this show today yeah. and we just didn't get organised. But you know the ones we mean now, you push and push and they go, they, some of them are quite big. Yeah, oh my gosh, I wish you still had Excellent. that. <laughs> exactly the same science oh, good and sound. we get into the um, science of sound with loads as well. Because as it spins, it makes that humming noise as well, yeah. the humming tops. There we go, that's cool. But um, oh. Emily asked about this. We've got this here, this is great fun. It's basically a bicycle wheel on an axle with a piece of string. There we go. Everybody's and, got one. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna re-go through the science and just think about it in a slightly different way. So this is kind of like a recap and extension all at the same time. Now, I'm gonna hold this up like so. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go three, two, one and let go here. What do you think is gonna happen then? Eh? Well, I think what's going to happen, Alan, is that we're all going to think like science. <gasps> wow. <laughs> so, you know the drill. You don't do things willy-nilly. You're going to have a little think about it. It's a rule for life. So, before um, Alan does that, we need to go through the... We need to start the process of thinking like a scientist. The question is what's going to happen. Uh -huh. uh, we need to make a guess, a prediction. Then we're going to try it out and see what happens. Easy peasy, lemon okay. squeezy. Cool. Um, I think... It's not a hard one, is it? Don't even have to hurt my brain. I think it's just going to drop down and hang there. Okay, here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. Hey, and from your observations, <laughs> yeah, then, totally your right. from my observations, <laughs> so your prediction was completely correct. Yeah. Now, it I'm wouldn't going... matter if I was wrong, by the way, but it's quite nice. There we go. <laughs> so, from our observations, we can see Emily's predict prediction was right. And like Emily said, we can also, from our observations, work out what is actually going to happen. Now this time in, mm -hmm. I'm going to do the same thing, yep. but what I'm going to do is actually apply force and spin the wheel. So that's uh, a change of variable, yeah, isn't it? And we know that something won't start moving unless a force makes it, 
So I'm going to apply a force here, yep. and that force is going to get transferred to the wheel, yep. and the wheel is now spinning. So, do you think it's going to be the same or different? Well, I'm not going to answer you. I'm going to leave it for YouTubers uh, to comment. You're going to do exactly the same thing, eh? Yep. But the difference is the variable is that the wheel is spinning. That's so if right. you're watching this live, or you're watching it on like repeat, um, just pop in the comments, what do you think? It's going to happen to the wheel when um, Alan holds it up like last time. Is it going to be the same? Yep. Is it going to be different? Is it going to turn into a hummingbird? I'm just giving you options. Okay, here we go. So. Ooh, whoa. Hey, there. <laughs> so, it's quite physical, isn't it? <laughs> so there we go, quite physical. We're in a bit of a small space here. So that was exciting. So there was a big difference there, right? There was a big difference. Um, last time it just got pulled down by gravity, but this time we saw because of the variable of the wheel spinning, it kind of it, it circled a. Eh? It kind of went round, but it also span. It didn't drop down straight away. Quite different. Yeah, that's good. There we go. It's quite. It's quite magical. Yeah. Yeah, and it's Ooh. slowly. What I'm noticing, Alan, is that it is actually slowly going down to doing what yeah. it did before. That's right, because the force that I put in, Emily, mm -hmm. is um, variable, it changes. Oh, it totally is. But gravity is constant. Gravity is the same all the time. So at the beginning, at the end of this um, experiment, and after and before all the flat, if that makes sense, <laughs> gravity is exactly the same. Nothing's changed mm -hmm. with a force of gravity. The force that I'm putting in is variable, and it changes. So... As the forces become less and less of a wheel spinning, they become less in gravity, and gravity now can pull it down to the ground. So gravity doesn't change, it's just the force and the energy of the wheel spinning that changes. As at one point, it is greater than gravity, and it becomes less in gravity, and we see the effect of gravity become greater from there. I like to joke at the moment, gravity is the only constant. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I noticed the similarities with that experiment and with the gyroscope. So, um, and the spinning topic, to be fair, when that force that Alan has applied or I've applied to the gyroscope or the spinning top, it does what it does, right? But you can see here, when that force changes and it becomes less, gravity, I mean, gravity is always doing its thing, um, but gravity becomes the greater force because the other force kind of just wears off. Yeah, Are you going to do it? Oh, I don't know, man. I've got a bad feeling about this. You reckon? <laughs> <laughs> you can't buy, Emily. You can't buy. <laughs> Nearly. If, um, there's so much fun. Yeah. If you want to get amongst this before, um, amongst this in your homes, the entry is quite uh, low, so um, get yourself a piece of cardboard, <laughs> roughly cut it in the circle, <laughs> stick a pencil through it, and... Cool. There we go. So spinny, spinny, spinny tops. I had a flashback about this one when you brought it out just before. Um, I'm sure lots of us at school did the different colours and then you spun. Uh, and it, do you know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, very, very cool. And Alan, <gasps> um, this looks like uh, we used from another experiment we did. Oh yeah, we did a little experiment about friction. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I've just drilled a hole and stuck the dowel through that yeah. experiment. Yeah, I, I thought I saw it somewhere before. And Emily's talking about childhood flashbacks. Another flashback I've had is, um, as a kid, I loved technical Lego. I love Lego full stop, but technical Lego in particular. The technic Lego, you have those black bars that oh, are like yeah, the yeah. crosses, and the wheels slide onto those with the rubber, yeah. and you can get like big ones and small ones. Did you ones. turn those into spinning tops? Turn those into spinning tops. And what's great about those is you can change the variables. You can um, higher and lower the weight, you can add weight and you can see the difference. And that is a serious bit of open-ended exploring science just with playing around with the difference in weight and the position it goes up. Is it better nearer the top of a rod or down the bottom? Um, in the comments, you'll be pleased to know. Naomi said, it looks like Alan made that. <laughs> there we go. I Spot see. Spot on. Spot on. on. And um, if you make your own, send us some pictures. It's um, easiest to contact us through our Facebook page, to be honest. But try any means and we will get back to you. Um, 
They're actually quite fun to make, and I'm sure some will work better than others. Yeah, and um, and while we're talking about making, um, I made this one here. It works perfectly fine. There's lots of different ways you can do it. That'll be drawing. The um, the kind of um, gyroscopes like this you can buy from the stores. We've also found these cool oh, spinning cool. tops. But before done? we move on to this, I just want to say the bike wheel is actually a science kit that we brought. We did. But we did make our own once upon a time. We had one for and years that we'd made. We had one for years, <laughs> but it kept kind of failing and falling to bits. We used it a lot. And it kind of got a bit of thing. So it was worth us upgrading to this. And now and then it is worth just buying the design proper thing but other times yeah. making your own is as good as and you learn so much because you can play around with the variables in it yeah. however for a few dollars <laughs> there were some really interesting spinning tops out there right? Uh, yeah and I seem to remember knitting needles as an axle yes there we anywho go. let's move on and um, these are quite fun yep where did you get these from I can't remember do you remember? I don't remember. <laughs> that one, I think, is either... Well, yeah, that one there is from my time at the Science Museum in London. Oh, when yeah, I used to sense. play with spinning tops and stuff there. I've kept hold of that one as I've travelled around. I'm doing it. Yep. Oh! <sighs> Almost. Let's try it. This is a wooden version of the same. These are slightly different to... Normal spinning tops. Yeah, they're cool. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, we need a bit more room. <laughs> oh, can you see it? It kind of turns uh, over, eh? Whoa, okay. So these spinning tops <laughs> start this way. Oh. And when you spin it, they hit the floor here. really hard. That was loud. And when you spin it, they turn up like this. So that is very bizarre to think that the spinning top does that. <laughs> and I'm determined to get one. Yeah, I'm working. not touching it anymore. It'd be great on a massive piece of yeah. though. <laughs> one more. Yes. Oh, I think there that is a sign. You can tell us what's coming up. There we go. So, <laughs> my friends, we are having a great time with spinning tops. Are you? Yeah. You enjoy I, this? I love spinning tops. Cool. Excellent. <laughs> you love spinning tops. Excellent. I do. So. <laughs> we hope you've enjoyed this live. We've still got Joker of the Day coming, so don't go anywhere. Uh, we look forward to seeing you, if you can, next week at 2pm, or again, watch at your leisure. Next week's show, we've got a fantastic live coming up for you, but also we have got a preview of what's happening in February with our YouTube content as well. And we've got a very exciting make and measure that we're going to do as part of that. So next week's live is um, a show about something. I'm not going to tell you what. And in that show, we've got a pre preview of what we're doing through February. Yay! But Emily, it's that time. <gasps> it is now time for... Day, 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 day. Now, Ellen, yeah. I think you're going to have to you know those, um, we saw them once when we were on tour. They're like big wind turbines that oh, generate yeah. electricity. Oh. They're huge, like they're huge. We drove up to one like... We did. Not this time, but like on our South Island tour that we're not doing. Yeah. yeah. Um, anyway, so you know what I'm talking about. Totally, okay. that was amazing. Anyway. So, the Jokers. One wind turbine said to the other, Hey, do you like have like a favourite like music? That you like to listen to what's your favorite music type and the other one time one turbine said oh i'm a big metal fan <laughs> <laughs> it's quite good isn't it i wish i could call it my own i adapted one off the interweb on the line did you like it i thought it was right up to that me. is absolutely superb it's good and i seriously have not heard that before i'm finding it a little hard to hold that together and I will be telling everyone I see this weekend <laughs> that joke. It's a great so, joke. my friends, we have come to the end of the Science well, of the Band Live. We have had an awesome time. That was a beautiful joke of a day, Emily. Thank you. And remember, my friends, be like a proton. Stay, stay positive. positive. Awesome. Hey. I'm going to go turn off the light.
look at the camera, but I'm trapped in. Oh, so, okay. um, oh, thank you, Naomi slash chief sponsor slash my mum. <laughs> um, thanks to the other people that watch live too. Oh, you're gonna do the camera. Out. Yeah, okay. yeah, I'll just fall. I can actually get out. Um, it's so nice to be here. We're gonna turn off the stream now, but join us next week. It'd be great to see yeah. you. Um, I think the button I won.